What if I told you I gave up everything to chase my dreams? What if I told you I didn't step out of the house until I was 14 years old? What if I told you I worked in a restaurant 30 hours a week and in a factory 16 hours and cried every damn night? What if I told you I have no real friends? What if I told you I feel so alone? What if I told you I didn't have a real family? What if I told you I was poor? What if I told you I didn't have a real childhood? What if I told you I wanted to? Life is tough. Every day I wake up and I either feel okay or depressed. Every day is a battle. A battle with myself in figuring out who I am and who the world thinks I am. Until I understood that nobody really cares. A shift of feeling sorry for me to accepting what is. Just because I grew up in a different circumstance from you, I think we're all the same. Hear me out. Nobody cares about you. The world doesn't owe you anything. And everyone is busy being the main character in their own story. Just because you work hard and cry doesn't mean anything. Uh, it's for my channel. What channel? Uh, my, own, my own TV show. How much do you show that? It's, it's for my uh, professional TV show, yeah. Oh, like uh, on YouTube or something? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not famous. We're all born to this world with a beating heart and a soul. I believe we're all different, but in some weird way, we're all the same. We all want to be happy. And sometimes we forget this. For the past two years now, I went from not knowing how to use a camera and the moreover not knowing how to be myself to understanding cinematography and the start on the journey of self-discovery. I'm 24 years old now, and I still work minimum wage jobs. I keep trying to put out content and document what I'm trying to do. Me trying to figure out the YouTube game. And when you get caught up in things like how much subscribers you have, how much views, you forget why you started in the first place. To speak to my inner child who could never speak up, who didn't have a voice. That day may never come where I make it, but hey. At least I could say I gave it everything I had. Like one of my biggest flaws, I don't like, I'm all about talking about your strength is that I started looking at other people and I was like, hey, that person has X amount of subscribers. This person does that. But I was like, I needed to focus more on me. And the more I tell my story, the more I'm almost certain that someone out there can relate to the way that I grew up, learn something, be inspired, or even just follow my crazy journey of literally giving up every single thing so I can make videos on the internet. As crazy and delusional as it sounds, something just deep inside my gut feels like, finally, Peter, you finally started. Like, I don't separate myself from anyone else. Like, I'm just your typical Asian guy. Like, I blend in the crowd. I don't think I'm better than anyone. Like, the only thing that separates me from me is like how I grew up. And I think the beauty of making videos is that you're able to tell your own story to the world and broadcast it, right? Yeah, you can do this and that. Comment, hate, this, this, this. People spit in my face all the time, but at the end of the day, it's like I'm finally able to do what I love. I'm, I'm constantly going to get better and I'm always going to try to push myself. And that's the reason why, you know, I love making videos and I'm able to tell my own story to the world. And I want to thank all you guys, you know, for being there, whether you hate, love, more so love. And
and you know this only marks the beginning i only touch the surface of my own capabilities and i'll see all you guys in the next one So go make your own world, because guess what? Nobody cares. You can't cry about how it is. That's just never, ever, ever, ever the right move.